How's it going everyone? It's Llama and today is all about play, learn, adapt and that is something that I think everybody in this community needs to do. There's a lot of people that have already gotten that down with Advanced Warfare. They've already gotten used to it but me being a classic Call of Duty player. I've been a player since the original Call of Duty 4 and um, I've, I've always had a problem with the movements in this game. I've always had a problem with the speed of this game because it, it hit me. I didn't think it would be that crazy. I didn't think it would be that difficult to handle. But this takes a whole lot of getting used to. And I think that instead of being negative about it and complaining and complaining and complaining, you know, I just need to get used to it. Basically, when it comes down to it, I was just being a baby about it. And that's just the truth. I think with anything in life, if you have anything that remains the same, you know, and you get used to seeing it being the same, and, and then it changes suddenly, it's going to upset you, it's going to throw you for a loop, you're not going to expect it. And that's what this game did for me. I was not expecting this sort of a change. I would find myself frustrated to the point where I would be deleting my classes over and over again. You know, I got so frustrated to the point where I could not find a weapon or could not find a class in general that I could get used to. In other Call of Duties, it was simple for me. Um, and back in Modern Warfare 2, all I needed was my M4A1. I needed a red dot sight. I was done. That's it. That's it. That's what I needed. And with other Call of Duties, it was simple as well. With the AK-47 from Black Ops 1, I was so comfortable. With the Black Ops 2, uh, with Black Ops 2, I would play with the PDW. I would be comfortable. I had these certain weapons that I was just comfortable with. In this game, I'm not. In this, or I wasn't, I should say. Um, let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown of the class right here that I'm using. I'm using the BAL-27. Uh, it is the base. Uh, it is the base model. It's not anything special. I'm using a silencer on it, quick draw, and stock, uh, and I believe that is the best combination. Uh, and, and it's not, I can pretty much guarantee you, it's not going to be the best for you. It, it, it varies from, from person to person. So with this one, using the silencer because it's all about UAV in this game. All, all about the UAV and the EXO movements. Those go hand in hand. Um, so using the silencer to stay off the radar, and in my mind, I think it does help with the recoil. Even though it doesn't show it on the stats, I think it does. I'm um, using quick draw so I can aim up a little bit quicker. As you saw right there, I got put down pretty fast by that uh, the HBRA3, but um, in most situations it will uh, it will come through for you. Using the uh, stock on there too, uh, because again, I hate to move slow, and this is this is a very 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 fast paced game. So you want to have stock on. So once you're aimed down sight, strafing left to right, you're not going to be moving at the speed of a turtle. You'll actually have a little bit of speed. So uh, I love using stock. Um, I don't use anything for a backup weapon. Uh, I don't tend to find myself <laughs> lasting long enough to use a backup weapon. I I, I just you know I, I tend to die before I get down uh, get down in ammo. So I don't really see the need for a backup weapon really. Uh, and if you ever need a backup weapon, you just pick one up off the ground. It's not that serious. And for perks, these are very, very simple. And I've kind of I've played with a lot of the perks in this game. I played with actually all of them. I've I've done combinations of all of them, and I found these to be the best for this class. It's not going to be repetitive. Uh, most of them are not going to be used again and again. But I think this is the best for this setup here. I'm using lightweight because I love to move around the map quickly. I hate moving slow. That's why I hate the LMGs. Um, I hate the LMGs, man. I hate moving slow. I use uh, low profile because this game, is, again, is all about the UAV, and I need to stay off the UAV, man. I, I can't, I can't stand it to know that they know exactly where I am. I need to stay as incognito as possible. As far as the second tier perks go, those aren't the greatest. The, the, I mean, to be honest with you, the second tier perks in this game are not great. They, they. They pretty much suck, um, but I'm using cold blooded, so it just makes me a little bit more invisible to the other players. For the third tier perks, I'm using toughness. It just keeps you in the gunfight. Uh, I think that's pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, and then I'm using blast suppressor. And blast suppressor, I don't care what anybody says. To me, it is the most important perk in this game. Absolutely, the most important perk in this game. This game is all about not only the UAV, but it's all about the EXO movements. Like I said, those go hand in hand. So you're going to be using the EXO movements every single match. It's it's not without a doubt, unless you're one person playing classic, 
you know, you're going to be using the exo movements. It's part of the game. It's part of the uh, the build of the game is the exosuit. So you want to stay off the radar with that. Every time you use an exo movement, if you don't have blast suppressor on, you're showing up to the other players. That sucks. So you want to be using blast suppressor. I'm not really a fan of, of a perk that you know has to be used like you know it's a must run but this is a must run perk you have to have this on uh, or you're going to be at a huge disadvantage so blast suppressor like i said the most important perk in this game and i think all of these perks combined with the attachments of the weapon and just the reliability of the weapon itself the bow for me has been the best weapon for me i i, I can't I can't give it to any other gun, really. ASM-1 uh, was okay, but I felt like I just could not get used to that one. This one feels a little bit more centered. Um, I feel like I, I'm a little bit more confident when using the BAL-27, so this is the gun that I like to use. And then the perks and the attachments uh, in combination with just the reliability of the weapon really, for me, uh, make it the best. So anyway, guys, leave a comment down below with what you guys thought on the gameplay, and are you guys struggling a little bit with this game? And even if you have classes to recommend for me in future videos, I will I will play with those classes. If anything that you have, uh, just leave it in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.